Check it on the map. I think it's about high time we did another uh, river update. Uh, the river levels are dropping and we'll have a quick look at them while Milo goes for a swim. Right, let's start on the Waal River. The flows in the rivers are quite low. The dam at just under 100% outflow, only 20 cubics. Lumov Dam at 102%, outflow 55 cubic. On the lower wall, the Rit, not much flow, almost no flow. And then on the Orange River, we see a bit more water. Uh, Garip is at 97.7, and they, they used a lot of water for electricity generation. But as far as I can see, they've now stopped doing that. If you look at, uh, yeah, they stopped, this is, they shut down one generator probably and then the next one, dropping the outflow. So that will increase the river level up, which is quite important, I think, because it looks like we're getting out of the wet La Nina uh, system and going back towards a more dry period. From the Kloof Dam is at 103%, outflow is still, still 230 cubic. But that's going to rapidly drop at some stage because the inflow into the dam has dropped now that uh, Gharib has closed down the power generation. So they're still generating power and it looks like they will do that for a while. And then just looking at the lower orange around Tlaimpala, it's around 800 cubic, but rapidly dropping if you go to the convergence just below the convergence, it's down to 566, but now taking Van der Kloof and Blumhoff and the drop in Van der Kloof that I expect, I think in the next two weeks we will drop down to a level where we might be able to travel along, uh, travel along uh, Doring Bay Road. Let's just look quickly at the rainfall forecast. This is 10 days, over the next 24 hours not much, 3 days. Some rains around middle of Free State, five days, a little bit more around Lesotho in the east, and then quite a bit more in uh, 10 days. About 60 millimeters there, 50 millimeters, I think, near uh, Kroenstadt. Now, we'll have a look at this. This looks interesting and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's just look at the thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms in the central part of the country. A little bit more to the southern free state. And then uh, coming into the northern Cape. Not much. There's a bit of thunderstorms over the Karoo there. I'll have to see what that entails. And then looking around Madagascar. This is quite ominous looking and it passed right over the center of Madagascar as far as I can see. And that, that'll be interesting to keep an eye on. We might uh, get some more rains into the central Africa. 
if that continues westwards. But anyways, we'll see about that. Uh, so as you can see, the re level is dropping fast. This is still about 800 cumex. Uh, dropping down to when from the Kloof and Blumhoff. About 300. I think in the next two, two and a half weeks. Now, to be able to drive the Dorengbai road, we actually need 200 cumex or less. Normal level is 30 to 50 cumex here. So, Still has to drop quite a bit. Stream is a bit strong still. It's probably a bit deep. Now I have been thinking about driving over it, but this rock is extremely slippery. I've done it a lot with a motorbike. At this level with a motorbike I can get well almost through quite narrow up there anyway that's it for now and I'll see you on the next one cheers